Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkazanki. So I have a few things to talk about. Um, obviously it is update video time. I am still training prayer. I have about roughly 10,000 Dragon Bones down since the last time I made a video on this account, and it's only been uh, about a day and a half. So I have done pretty well with the Dragon Bones. The first thing I want to talk about is actually these lamp pot things. Um, I have one of the lamp pots uh, ready to be made here, and if I get one more Ifrit lamp pot, then I'll have uh, two lamp pots. So I don't know too much about these. I know if you get one of each lamp pot in like a bottled genie or something like that, you can make a lamp of the Jijin. Not sure how to pronounce that, but I know it gives a crazy amount of XP. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing that because I'm not going to be buying spins. Um, and I don't think the promotion is going to last too much longer. And obviously, I only have one of the lamps made. But uh, regardless, I have just been sticking with prayer and uh, doing a farm run every once in a while. Other than that, I've strictly been training prayer. So my prayer is actually all the way up to level 85, um, nearly level 86. I should be able to get level 86 in about seven more runs. Um, so I do have my house set up pretty nicely here. I can just show off my house. I don't have the highest construction level. Uh, I only have 73 construction at the moment, but um, I have my gilded altar right here. I have my portal room. Um, I also have done desert treasure, so I need to make a canifis portal as soon as possible in one of these portal frames. Um, but I, I believe you need like 66 or 68 magic to cast the canifis uh, spell on the ancient magics. So I have to wait till then, then I'll make a canifis portal. Um, but having your gilded altar right next to the portal room is really important. Um, and also I have a, you know, a relatively small house. I pretty much have only made what is absolutely necessary. Um, and also I remember back when you see these doors here, I remember back when, um, these doors would be closed when you open your house. So every time you went to your gilded altar, you'd have to reopen them again. That was the most annoying thing ever. But luckily Jagex made an update that allowed you to, uh, keep your doors open when you entered your house every time. And then of course I have my glory room right here. Um, I haven't been banking with the Amulet of Glory because, for one, Edgeville is a little bit more laggy than Castle Wars. Um, and also, if you teleport to Edgeville and you go into the bank, your follower gets caught on the door outside. It's just a really annoying thing. Um, and then I have my staircase down, so whenever I decide to go train construction, I'll probably be down here making uh, oak dungeon doors, and that's what I'll be doing in the future. Um, but anyway, yeah, my house is basically just the absolute bare essentials. Uh, I did buy the planks for 75 construction, but for a couple reasons. One, because I don't particularly enjoy in construction. I know it's fast, but um, I didn't. I don't really enjoy the skill. Um, and also, just because uh, I wanted to save a little money, I only went to level 73, and then I just boosted with some tea in my player owned house and made the Gilded Altar. Anyway, one thing I did want to talk a little bit about was actually uh, making money for this account. Obviously, I have the goal of uh, eventually maxing this account which one day, which um, might be a little bit of an insane goal, uh, considering I've already maxed one account. Um, but one thing I did want to talk about a little bit was money making, uh, since money making is one of those things that I really absolutely hate doing, um, and I'm not that good at, but uh, it's something that must be done, because uh, the max cape, the way I'm planning to do it, is probably going to cost about 1.5 bill. Um, unless bots start coming back, I have seen a little bit of bots more recently. Um, bots have returned to the sorceress's garden because I had to go there the other day for a quest. I saw quite a few, um, nowhere near the numbers that we had before the release of uh, the old school RuneScape, but they are starting to come back, um, which is almost a blessing in disguise, uh, mostly because I'm not going to be doing stuff like gathering herbs to make money, so it doesn't affect my money making all that much. But, for example, when I want to train Herblore, that's going to make that skill much, much cheaper if bots come back. So I'm kind of making a hope that they do. Uh, and 07 Scape has been dying out a little bit lately. They've started to lose some players, um, and the money on there is starting to be worth a little bit less. And I think that's why uh, some of the bots are starting to return to the evolution of combat. So anyway, that's good for me. I know a lot of people hate bots. Uh, to be honest, when I'm training viable skills, bots are the best thing ever. Um, especially because I only have one viable skill done, essentially. Uh, even though I haven't trained a 99 prayer, I have it all banked. But I still have to pay for all the other viable skills. Um, there's construction, and herb lore, and uh, fletching, and smithing, and fire making, and cooking, and farming. Um, and I'm probably missing at least one. Uh, can't really think of it. And crafting. Um, and all those skills are just insanely expensive right now, especially because there haven't been a whole lot of bots lately. I checked the prices of crafting recently, um, and I found even gre just green dragon hide bodies at the moment were uh, 16 GP per XP. 
Um, so that's like over 200 mil if I went for 99, and that's obviously not something I can afford at the moment. Um, so I'm figuring my plan is probably going to be starting to flip a lot. Uh, I have done quite a bit of flipping today. I think I made roughly about 8 mil today flipping. Um, and I made a few mil the other yesterday flipping as well. Um, if we look at my cash deck now, I am up to 24 mil. Uh, I was up, I was at 500k cash the other day, but I was able to find some stuff to sell, um, and I have started flipping a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do probably for money initially. Also, when I decide to train Slayer, the way I train Slayer, um, I don't do it a very efficient way, but I do train it um, the way I like, which is just taking Slayer slow and maximizing the profit. Um, so there's probably going to be a couple hundred mil or so made from that as well. Um, the one thing that I really hope won't happen is hopefully if all goes well and I can stick um, to flipping enough, and I don't have to do a whole lot of PVMing to make money uh, for skills. That would be great because I don't particularly enjoy PVM. I'm not a very lucky PVMer as I have probably talked about a lot in the past. But if worst comes to worst, I could always do some Glacers again because they are really good XP and they are actually kind of relaxing to do. So um, if the absolute worst happens and bots don't come back and skills are insanely expensive and I'm not very uh, fortunate with flipping and don't make enough money, I could always uh, go to Glacers. The one thing that's really hard to do is flipping because it's one of those things that's kind of hard to keep yourself motivated to do because some days you really want to do it and you're like, yeah, let's go make some money, uh, and other days you're just kind of not really in the mood to flip. Um, it's like a lot of things in RuneScape, for example, like, like a lot of people don't really enjoy farm runs. That's kind of how I feel with flipping because it is kind of annoying to go to the GE like uh, five times a day and change your flips and all. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was just um, ports. Obviously, you can't do ports until you have at least level 90 in one of the stats required for ports, which are like uh, fishing, prayer, slayer, rune crafting. Um, Herblore and one other, I think. But anyway, I am very close to getting level 90 prayer, which unlocks the missionary in ports and also gives me the ability to do them. So I think as soon as I get level 90 prayer, I will start doing ports, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I obviously won't be able to make uh, all the armor um, because I don't, I believe all the prayer missionary gives you is the ancient bones resource, which you can make use to make scrimshaws. But uh, at the same time, I'm probably not going to be doing too much PVM anyway. Hopefully I won't have to if all goes well because I don't really enjoy PVM all that much. But it would be nice just to have the armor just in case one day uh, I ever wanted to do some PVM and check that out on this account. So I am pretty close to uh, 90 prayer. But anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, mostly just of an update video. I promise I won't have too many more vlogs where I'm just um, skilling in the background. Well, at least not with prayer. Um, the next few videos I definitely will shake it up a bit. It's just these uh, next couple days I'm probably going to be just grinding away at prayer and trying to get 99 as soon as possible. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to return to making guides soon. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you guys all have a successful day. Really, really sucks the heat loss tonight. Uh, I have been rooting for them, but I don't want to talk too much about that. Uh, yeah, that's about all, and farewell.